And now since vaccinations have taken place, the world around us is opening faster than expected. But how real is this recovery and what is the road ahead, especially in U.S., where mask mandates, they have been dropped now in certain states, while certain states are insisting to have it. Now to talk all that and much more today, we are joined by President and CEO of LA Tourism and Convention Board from Adam Burke, his name is. He's joining from LA US. Uh, thanks for joining us, first of all, about the mask mandate. It has been removed in US in some states. How do you see this impacting the travel? Well, it's interesting. I think the first thing I would say is Los Angeles has always put health and safety at the forefront of the visitor experience, and that's never going to change. I think what's really changed is we've learned a lot over the last two years. We've learned, for example, that the vaccines and boosters are highly effective in preventing transmission. So I think what you're seeing, and, and the expression has been used a lot, really a shift from a pandemic state to an endemic state where we know that COVID is unfortunately never going to go away completely, but with the right mitigation measures, we can still get out and travel and experience the world. So but what I would say is when you look at some of the restrictions that are being eased now, we just need to continue to follow the science, knowing that vaccines are highly effective. And if we do see other variants or other spikes, then we can always layer in additional safeguards and protections. But I, I think the single biggest thing I would say is that we've really learned that health and safety and maintaining sustainable economic recovery have to go hand in hand. And what that means is we can keep our global economy open as long as we continue to lead with health and safety. And what about recovery in tourism sector globally after mask mandates have been dropped off in certain U.S. states? But the world is also open. How do you see this recovery in tourism sector globally? Uh, we're definitely seeing a really strong resurgence in the global tourism sector. I think a, a big reason for that is there is so much pent up demand from the past 24 months. People haven't had the opportunity to travel. And I think what it's made us all appreciate is that travel really isn't a discretionary purchase. It's something that we're really hardwired to do. So if you look at the level of demand that's coming back in Los Angeles, for example, 2019 had capped a decade straight of record setting visitation. This year alone in 2020. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.